Hello my beautiful YouTube family, this is Kadima with another Wulong Fallen Dynasty build video. Let me start by apologizing straight away by the sound of my voice. I currently got a little bit of a cold going on um, and I'm not on 100%. In any case, this is my most recent build. Um, it's using a combination of sets which I am going to um, showcase to you straight away. So the combination of sets in this case is the Grace of Ling Bao set um, combined with the Strategist of Genius set. So we are uh, getting all the benefits from the principle of Lung Bao because uh, we got uh, four pieces, uh, actually five pieces but we got the discount piece from the set bonus requirement mitigation from the repeating crossbow. Uh, as for the weapons, I'm using the Chivalrous Swordsman Dual Swords. I was lucky enough to get this to drop as part of the Grace of Ling Bao set, but also with the Beckoning Pine and Sudden Tornado, which happens to be my two favorite uh, special martial arts for double uh, dual swords. And in this case, considering I was planning to use this um, for my build, that was a perfect combination. For my secondary weapon, I'm using the Bronze Dual Swords. Uh, I was lucky enough to get it with the Beckoning Pine and the Peach Blossom, which can also be an interesting um, martial art. However, I don't really use this sword much. The reason being because this one gives me a 600 attack power. This one is a 573, so I pretty much use this one a hundred percent of the time this one scales with water fire and wood and as you can see for my stats i'm currently using 39 wood virtue 30 fire virtue 15 in the metal virtue and 69 in the water virtue you might find these numbers a bit funny and a bit odd this is due to the fact that i've done quite a lot of experimentation moving around the levels between virtues to see uh, how it would fit the build better and this happens to be the most effective combination for a number of reasons. Uh, I will mention these reasons later on. Back to the build itself. So as I was saying, got two pieces of Grace of Ling Bao set. I got the crossbow for the bonus uh, with the set bonus requirement mitigation. For the other ranged weapon, I also got a crossbow which happened to drop at five stars with the Grace of Ling Bao, which I don't really um, use the crossbow much. Uh, as for the armor pieces, I've got uh, the Entertainer's Bandana, again because it dropped with the Grace of Ling Bao. Um, and also, amongst all the head pieces that I have with the Grace of Ling, pa Ling Bao, this one comes with the lock uh, positive effect duration, which is actually useful for this build. And on a different hand, it's also a light um, gear. Um, piece of armor which helps with buffing the damage with the sword because it comes with a locked damage bonus light equipment load a eh? so this will boost um, considering we are all equipped light gear this will boost the damage uh, slightly uh, to take the most benefits from um, it as possible for the um, armor pieces as you can see I'm trying to use uh, best combination possible for this build. Uh, the idea here with both these sets, uh, as you can see, the bonus that you get um, benefits from having debuffs applied to the enemy whilst buffing yourself in the process. So we get spin spirit vulnerability on enemy upon uh, martial art uh, hit. We got damage amplification uh, upon fatal strike on enemy. And we also got a um, power drop for the enemy um, upon uh, landing a wizardry spell. We also get a boost um, on the negative effects on enemies lasting 6.0% uh, more. And then, for those who are not familiar with the principle of Ling Bao, um, if you go into the description it says increases HP damage dealt in proportion to the number of negative effects 
on enemy targets and the maximum amount of additional damage can be achieved when there are three negative effects on a target. So if you have one negative effect you get a bonus on your damage, if you get two negative e effects that bonus goes up a bit more, if you have three, four, five it doesn't matter after the third one, it goes up a quite significant amount of around 20%. So every time you have three debuffs on an enemy, you'll be doing 20% additional damage. So to boost this damage even further, uh, with the combination of the strategist, we've got a negative effect accumulation on enemies buffing 4.8%. Uh, we got again uh, from this set the power drop um, upon a uh, fatal strike so every time you do a fatal strike you also get the power drop from this set and uh, duration of debuffs on the enemies another point uh, 4.2 percent because of course we can't get any more pieces um, with any sets uh, i've got the this one for the the third piece for this bonus um, and I've got the large grass knot simply because it gives me an extra 10 HP um, and also because it was the 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 accessory that I had that fitted the idea of the damage the better um, considering all that I had um, available unfortunately this one is not as great because it has moral rank points gain and genuine, genuine key obtention, which is not ideal for PvP or, but for PvE is it can be useful. And this build is not um, exclusive for PvP. It's not exclusive for PvE, as you probably know my, by now. I like to make builds that can give you the best of both worlds. So this build will be very strong for PvE, but it will also be quite strong for PvP purposes. It's not going to be the best build in the world, don't get me wrong, but it will work, it will do a lot of damage if you get to combine things um, and make them work all together. For uh, the gloves, as I said, I also got uh, the Liberationer Guo gloves, which is part of the um, uh, strategist set. And for the legs, I've got the last piece of the Grace of Ling Bao. Now, if you take a look on, on all my weapons, this one comes with a lock damage bonus light equip load, as I already said. I did um, use the embedments of increased melee attack power by 20, negative effect duration on enemies 2.9%, uh, um, and also applying slow on enemy upon martial arts. This will also help uh, getting those three debuffs going faster. Uh, on this one, I got spirit gain, which is locked, I cannot change, but then I put damage to enemies with negative effects 3.2%. Enemy status effect accumulation 5.7%. This will help with the chill because we are using ice weapon and um, a, a, a nice um, spell damage. Um, wizardry spell. Uh, we also get negative effect duration on enemies 2.8%. For the crossbow and the bow, again, damage dealt uh, on this one, because uh, I can change it on this one, it comes with ranged attack damage, I cannot change that one, but it's okay. I got ice attack power and negative effect duration as well, and this one's got ice attack power, negative effect duration, enemy status effect accumulation, and positive effect duration for uh, buffing ourselves. As for the headpiece, again, it comes locked with a positive effect duration, which is okay. Damage to enemies with negative effects, 3.2%. Chill accumulation on enemies. Ice attack power, negative effect duration on enemies. This one, same story. Damage to enemies with negative effects, 3.2. Negative effect duration on enemies. Chill accumulation on enemies. Ice attack power, positive effect duration. This one, exactly the same thing. No changes here. And this one comes locked with restore HP. 2.4%, which is okay, uh, we will be using our heals anyway, so a little bit of a boost doesn't really hurt the build, so it's not the best thing out there. And then we also got the damage to enemies with negative effects, chill accumulation, ice attack power, negative effect duration on enemies. For the accessories, 
they come they come absolutely locked there's nothing we can do to change these but the most important part for this one is the restoration from melee attack damage a minus and damage dealt and elemental damage reduction for this one luck of course it's not really useful unless you are farming but it i did uh, i did uh, use it because it comes with melee attack damage enemy status effect accumulation ice attack power and spirit gain from normal attacks which is always um, useful. Uh, so the idea of this build is the combination of having uh, the debuffs on the targets and also buffing ourselves. For buffing ourselves as you can see um, on the wizardry uh, spells we are using the amplified damage to buff our damage, we are using the ice weapon to get that ice damage going, we are using spirit fervor Mostly um, during PvE, if I'm fighting certain bosses, this can help get that spirit back so we can keep on attacking, keep uh, buffing ourselves. And also we got the Malignant Icefall. This, um, this wizardry spell is especially useful after you fatal strike an enemy, especially in PvP. After you fatal strike an enemy in PvP, if you cast it straight away, 9 out of 10 times, he does not uh, get up again. He will die, because the damage you will be doing is so high just after the, the fatal strike, because as you know from the set um, that comes um, with the Grace of Ling Bao, we get a power drop on the enemy upon wizardry spell, so if you use the wizardry spell, his power will also drop and you will be doing significant more damage after that. So, uh, if you check on the stats, um, the main weapon is giving us an attack power of 600, which is just a good number. Uh, you can probably make it all the way up to 615 by sacrificing wood virtue or fire virtue or even the metal virtue to get the water virtue all the way up to 99. But it's not beneficial here. I found that these are the stats that work the best. Also, it is important to keep in mind that we got 456 defense, which is not great. We are using light armor, so you have to play carefully. You have to deflect when you can and you have to block when you are unsure that you are going to be able to deflect. Spirit sustainability, it's a 95. It's not great, but again, at this um, at level 150, uh, you have to make choices. Spell duration 119%, which helps us with our buffs. Stealth 526, this is only useful for PvE. And luck, as I said, it's a 29 because of the accessory. There's nothing I can do to change it. As for spirit gain rate, we have 118%. Deflect at 100%. As for spirit consumption rate, because of the distribution of the stats, uh, this is why I chose to put 39 on wood, 30 on fire, 15 on metal, and also 69 on water was to be able to have a reduction on the spirit consumption rate on pretty much everything from martial arts to wizardry spells and deflects. The equipment weight, uh, it's at agility A, which is the most important thing, but if you go on to the special effects, now we got a boost of 20 um, to the melee attack power, we got 114 ice attack power, 2.4% damage dealt boost, 2.7% melee attack damage boost, uh, and then this is when uh, the build brings itself to um, a higher st st um, point is th we get a 12.7% damage to enemies with negative effects and this is just as a base damage to enemy enemies with negative effects but if if onto these 12% you add the grace of Lingbao um, boost of 20% that means that if you have three debuffs on an enemy, you will be doing 32.4% more damage, which is a significant increase of damage. It's actually 30, 32.7, uh, which is a very, very good amount of extra damage output. Um, also, 
because of this little buff here, um, spirit damage to enemies under um, negative effects, it it's also increased. This comes from the beast we are using. We are using the tank she again as you can see spirit damage to enemies with negative effects between uh, it's a 10.2 percent which will also help uh, damaging more than just their hp bars we will be also damaging their spirits um, a bit more with this you also get enemy status effect accumulation boost wizard respell damage boost and power drop on enemy upon wizard respell again this one is repeated um, because you also get that from both uh, from the the from uh, the power drop on enemy upon wizardry spell from the uh, principle of Ling Bao. Uh, it's a repeated one, but again, uh, it doesn't really matter. The idea is to just get as many debuffs and as much damage going on after the de those debuffs as possible. Going back to the special effects we also got a on damage bonus uh, with the light equip load which is um, as i explained earlier but then to the percentages enemy status effect accumulation it comes to a total of 23.5 percent which is great chill accumulation on enemies on top of the first one it's 32.5 percent so the chill also counts as an enemy status so for the chill especially we will be benefiting from 55 point no 56 percent uh, accumulation um, which is awesome it's a massive amount of chill going on positive effect duration 12.2 percent so our boosts will last a bit longer negative effect duration on enemies 27.6 percent that might not seem like it's a lot but you have to keep in mind that those debuffs will be staying there for a lot longer it's a lot of damage that you can put uh, through that extra time spirit gain from normal to normal tech normal attacks it's insignificant it's only 2.8 percent more and these come from the accessories um, again most important is the combination you get from everything falling together spirit vulnerability to the target on successful martial arts hit slow on enemy upon martial arts hit so every time you land a martial art you are already debuffing the enemy in two situations straight away spirit vulnerability and slow on top of that if your sword is with the ice weapon and you also get the chill you get your third debuff straight away just from one martial art hit which is significant uh, is significantly important for this build because you will you will be doing an extra 20% uh, from the Ling Bao set and uh, an extra 12.7% uh, more damage uh, so it's a, a massive amount of damage increase uh, to get everything uh, combined so because of the agility you get to move around quite quickly uh, for the um, for the idea of how to use this build it's probably best if I demonstrate against uh, my favorite text te uh, test subject which is of course cow cow I like to use cow cow all the time for my build tests so I'm going to fight him a couple of times now um, this footage has already been recorded recorded um but i decided to to skip it um the the fight i didn't want to do it again um for the sake of recording the video but as you can see play safely get that deflect going on do the damage unfortunately i mistimed my attack for the fatal strike but we can get another one going if you take a look just under his hp bar he's got five debuffs six debuffs now going on this means we do a significant amount more damage which you will see when i do the fatal strike just now take a look at this damage 1600 straight away that's a significant amount of damage considering cow cow has heavy armor and he's got quite high defenses and he's finished job done I hope you guys enjoyed the build so far. I'm going to do one more run um, 
just so you can see how it goes remember with this build you have to play safely you are very squishy because you are wearing light armor play safely especially in pve time your deflects remember to buff remember to get those deep buffs going with the martial arts and the wizardry spells so you can benefit the most of the highest damage output you can get with this build so here we go amplify damage ice weapon get that deflect going land that martial arts and he's got three debuffs going already fatal strike boom 1000 damage plus 800 and here we go another deflect attack do another martial art to keep the debuffs going get some damage going boom another 1040 buff yourself again get that deflect get that ice accumulation get that shield to proc and boom job done it's that easy now let's um, get some PvP fights going on as well and let's get this done just a curious fact that sword I got at five stars it's actually with swift lightning which I was looking for it <laughs> now for the PvP I was actually able to invade these guys as a 2v2 situation this guy actually comes quite on top of me and I completely mistimed the deflect and I actually end up getting one shotted and poisoned reminds me of a build that I know <laughs> anyway I do my part I was hoping the my comrade would be able to get me back up which he actually did surprisingly enough he actually got himself stunned but somehow he managed to got me up and when he did I thought okay I'm gonna make the same mistake twice um, I completely mismanaged my my uh, deflect here so I gotta make up for it I get this guy going I actually mistimed the ice pick on the head but he's playing too aggressive he's not managing his spirit properly which I can tell unfortunately as you probably can tell as well he's, uh, he's got quite a lot of debuffs going on so that means I'm going to do a significant amount of damage if I get the hit but there's a lot of lag here so I finish the job with the ice pick on the head this guy was keeping my comrade uh, under supervision so he tries to come and save his and I finish the job with the ice pick to the head for the win and that was a nice 2v2 situation that I actually started on the losing side but on my own I managed to turn it around um, yeah that was a good uh, example now for the next one I thought this was going to be be me versus two uh, but actually there was a third one that I didn't see straight away so funny fact I actually start on the offensive here trying to get this guy um, to be uh, out of out of the equation but funny enough there was also another invader so I reposition myself try to get some damage going unfortunately uh, those hits were not landing but I did manage to get those martial arts going for the debuff So unfortunately, he didn't plan about this guy. I get deflected. Lucky for me, the fat uh, guy is keeping the this one busy. The, the wolf also jumps in. He's just staying too aggressive. He's not playing very clever. He's just spamming attacks. He's not really playing properly. And this is when I thought, okay, if the other invader is busy, I will just make sure this guy uh, doesn't get resurrected. So I'm going to keep an eye on him, just in case the invader gets in trouble. Uh, and yeah, I'll just keep an eye. Here he comes. I managed to keep him some damage going. He's not being very clever. I managed to get the Fatal Strike. And that's it. I thought the fight would end here. But uh, I was a bit caught by surprise. I thought, oh, okay. Oh, there's the third one. Unfortunately, he was too hasty, and I managed to finish the job. 
So that was a funny invasion right there. And as you can see, the build does a significant amount of damage, especially after those, those debuffs. For this one, this is actually a really, really funny invasion. So I invade this guy. Uh, as usual, when I invade on this area, the first thing I do is check around the bird area because normally they tend to be around here and if they are not and the door is open that normally means they went upstairs I don't see him anywhere so I go up the stairs I have a quick look around and I see that he has not yet claimed this flag and that guy just happened to jump down so he must be around this area and that's when I decide, okay, I'm going to have another look. And I see him. So I buff myself. And I see, oh, he's got NPCs with him. So, there you go. Double fatal strike. This one actually survived. But I finished the job quickly. By pushing the host away. Getting that martial art on the other one. And then I, I can see he's high on spirit. And I just finished the job with one fatal strike nice and efficient so this was a good one this is a good example now onto this one as soon as I invade I realize that the host is right here and he's got two NPCs uh, I thought uh, I could finish the job straight away I get the debuff going with the martial arts I do the same to two NPCs and I get them both down unfortunately He's got that serpent going on, and uh, I'm forced to play safely. He actually manages to get this one up, but I managed to land a nice peek on both of them. I get this one back down. I get the deflect going. Try to play safely. Try to get him to use all of his spirit so I can get the fatal strike. I buff myself. He does the same. I can see his spirit is quite high, so I get the deflect, I trap him with the martial arts, and I do it again for the job. And that's it. GG. As for this next one, again, I just invaded and I realized straight away there was a lot of confusion going on, so I just came with my lovely martial arts to spam around and try to get some kills in the middle of all this confusion. This guy is the first one to go. As you can see, I was assisted by one of the in-game uh, assassins. He triggers his, uh, he triggers his um, Divine Beast. I cannot get close, but he is also busy with the NPC, so I decide to land some ice peaks and I finish the job. <laughs> and that's how you do in the middle of a lot of confusion. I mean, no honor in invasions, right? So for this one, which will be the last one, this is actually a funny, funny invasion. I realize he's here, so as usual I buff myself. I backstab this one to get him out of the way. I realize he's going to get him up, so I try to get rid of this one in the process. And I end up getting rid of both. He tries to get some fire spells going. I buff myself again while I deflect his spells. He realizes uh, that it's probably not a good idea to just come for the kill. So I try to trap him into using his spirit, but unfortunately... He gets this guy up. So I get to kill him one more time, which I do straight away. But then he decides to go for a little bit of jogging. So I don't know if you guys watching the build video um, engage in PvP. As far as I can tell, not everybody uh, enjoys doing so. But if you do, please don't do the same thing as this guy. Because he's just running around. Um, trying to run away from me which I don't really get the point I mean did he run out of heals 
if he did, well, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot going on if you're just going to run away. But there he goes. Cool breezy. He keeps going. He tries to make me jump down, uh, which was actually uh, a good idea. Unfortunately for him, he didn't succeed. Um, I continue with the chase. And then he tries to do some spells on my face, which actually works. He does land some damage. But then he makes the mistake of trying to land a martial art. And that's how it ends. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and give it a try. Cheerio!